We're going up here on the hill, taking this CVA Optima 50 cal pistol out. Gonna see what happens. Hopefully we can get a doe up here. I already filled my buck tag earlier this year out of the same tree stand, so I seen a lot of deer that day, so hopefully today we see a bunch too. I hit her hard, dude. She's going down. She's going down. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Boy, I jumped a little bit when you shot, but... <laughs> I mean, I kind of had no choice but to do it offhand anyway, so... Dude, we got her. You got her. Yeah. This old girl did the job. Yup, it worked pretty damn good, Eric. That red dial, man, it was right on her too. Boy, I'm even excited over the door. <laughs> yeah, take up the challenge of a little pistol hunt. Boy, that was fun, actually, man. Ray and I tracked good blood for about 150 yards before we before she got into some real thick stuff, and uh, we we're losing daylight pretty quick, so we decided to back out. We got a closer look at the footage and realized that the shot placement wasn't quite as good as we had hoped for. In slow motion, you can see that she turns at the very last second when that trigger breaks and unfortunately hit her a little far back than what we wanted. So we picked up where we left off from the night before, uh, tracked the blood for another 100 yards before we found the doe laying, and we were able to recover, the meat was still good, and it was a really good hunt. I was really happy for Ray to get his first pistol kill on camera, and uh, hopefully we can get a couple more here before the end of the season. So uh, stay tuned, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe, share, hit that thumbs up button. Thanks.